Great pleasure right now to uh, welcome to our show today a woman who is uh, in charge of a very important and very interesting program. Uh, I found out about it, as uh, I'm sure many of uh, you out there did, uh, if you went to the Sarasota Film Festival. It's called the Warren Backpack Program, which uh, provides food uh, for children. Uh, on uh, the weekends and during the summers, we'll find out about that. And her name is Julie Kaminer. She joined us by telephone today. Julie, thanks uh, for being with us. How are you today? I'm um, well. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I went to some of the films this year, just just covering it as uh, as I normally do. But I was uh, very intrigued by the PSA, which uh, came on before all the screenings, at least all the ones that I had seen, and and your table that was set up uh, down at the the movie theater. And I think this is a, a great program. Uh, before we even get into how it started, uh, did, did the film festival help uh, awareness? Have you, have you seen results already? Oh, we have. That PSA was just absolutely amazing. The um, Outreach and Education Department at the Sarasota Film Festival um, Department was kind enough to uh, provide us with that. They created and produced that piece as well as attended a documentary. So when they approached us and said that they wanted to play that in front of every single film, it was just absolutely phenomenal. We've um, not only the awareness and the feedback that I'm still actually receiving um, up until today, just like you saw it and contacted me has just been just wonderful for our small little program to get the word out there. We actually were able to, at the table at Hollywood 20, raise over $10,000 oh, just great. from cash donations and checks and people just wanting to help right away. Because it is, it's a really easy program to get involved with. It's um, an inexpensive way to help people right here locally, children in our community. So it, it's been just wonderful. And just a, a startling statistic, which you mentioned in the PSA, in, in Sarasota County alone, 1,000 kids uh, between kindergarten and third grade uh, go uh, go hungry. That is very, uh, that's a sad statistic, isn't it? It is. It's staggering. It really is. And in this beautiful community that um, that, that these children face that every day, it's just staggering. So this our, our program right now serves about 600 children in 10 of the Title I elementary schools in Sarasota. So um, we're just barely scraping the bottom, but the more you know, donations and, and help we can get, the more we can add children. And there are so many on each wait list at each school, so we're hoping with this and, and the help of the film festival get the word out there that um, we can help combat uh, childhood hunger in our community. Talk a little bit about how it works uh, for those that did not sure. see the PSA. I know uh, each week uh, uh, the children basically do uh, a lot of the work as far as preparing these uh, backpacks, which uh, exactly. kids take home uh, as food for the weekend, right? Right, right. Um, just to give you a little bit of background, what's said, the backpack full of food on a Friday, so the child has enough food to get done through the weekend. Um, that way they come back ready to learn on Monday. And um, Robert and Shannon started packing the bags at their home, then at the food bank, and then a parent at Outer Door Academy in Lakewood Ranch um, suggested, hey, why don't the students here pack the bags as part of a community service project for the school? Um, and so since then, and we love that model of kids feeding kids, um, they get so excited to pack these bags. They're learning about this um, problem in their community and the fact that, that other children are packing these bags is just wonderful. And we've been able to take that model that Outer Door Academy started to four other schools now. Um, so we have five schools in Sarasota County that pack for the ten other schools. Um, they're packed, like you said, every Tuesday, usually it's Tuesday after school. These kids are coming on their own time um, to pack the bags. And it's, it's like I said, it's a lot of fun. They, they're always chatting and um, unpacking the bags, you know, and, 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 and loading it all up. And then it gets delivered on a Thursday to the receiving schools um, so that on Friday, whoever's in charge, the guidance counselor can pass them out on Friday. And um, this is something consistent that these kids are getting every single Friday through the whole school year. We appreciate any kind of donations online. Um, you can donate at our website, which I can give to you now. Sure, give us the website, yeah. Sure, it's um, www.warrenbackpackprogram.com, all together, warrenbackpackprogram.com. Um, you can also uh, go right there, and we posted a link to the 10-minute documentary. So you saw the 90-second promo piece, but if you take a look just to watch that 10-minute documentary that the film festival did for us, you'll actually see footage of the kids that that we serve that, that um, eat this food on the weekend, and they are telling you what they love about the food and what it makes them feel like a hero when they bring this home. It's just really touching if you want to take a look at that documentary. Uh, Julie, it really is a pleasure to talk to you. Uh, I'm glad we had a chance to uh, maybe give our radio audience a chance that didn't go to the film festival to find out about it, because, uh, again, that, that statistic of a 1,000 children in our area going home hungry, that, that, that hopefully that will shake up some people okay. to do something. All right, well, thank, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And just the awareness. It's wonderful, so thank you for having me.